Hi everyone. You know, a few years ago, I watched a lot of YouTube channels of adoption stories from actual parents who most of them were going overseas to adopt children. It, it wasn't professionally done and that's why I like them because they seem to be a little bit more real and a little bit less let's navigate the story to make it a happy ever after one. But you know, there's a whole lot of orphans out there that are actually in their father's house, but they're still acting like they're orphans. And what am I getting at? The Bible says that we are adopted into the family of God. And when you're adopted, that means that the person who adopted you promises that they are going to love you, cherish you, raise you, provide for all of your needs, and you have all the legal rights as any other child if that child had been born biologically into that home. But it's so much more than that. There's a heart connection there. And most adoptive parents, especially if they're adopting a child above the age of two, have to do some patient work to get their child to understand that those parents are not just their caregivers. And it's very much the same as uh, people who uh, come to know the Lord, but they don't really come to know the Lord. They accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Maybe they go to a church and uh, there's an altar call given and they go up to the front and they give their lives to Jesus but they don't really understand that it's a relationship now, that God has called them into a mutual relationship where he considers them ad adopted. They're now his children. He doesn't take care of us like he is a paid caregiver. No matter how loving and caring and nurturing a group home mother is, or even a foster parent is, they don't take the place of an actual parent who adopts a child and who says, I'm in the long haul here. If things get really bad and really rough, that doesn't matter. This is my child. A foster parent, if the placement doesn't work, they can work with the social agency and say it'd be better if this child is placed somewhere more suitable for their needs, AKA, this child was way too much for me to cope with, please find them somewhere else to go. God will never ever do that to us guys. But it's up to us as we need to do our part, we need to take God's offer up he adopted us as sons and daughters, not as orphans. Therefore, when in, we need to be in relationship with him, we need to be dependent upon him. We need to trust him. We need to go to him for advice, just like we would any good earthly parent saying, hey, I'm really struggling. It would be no good for you to be an adopted child if all you did was stay up in your bedroom and go down at mealtimes, fix yourself a plate of food, and off you go back up to your room. Yes, you were adopted, but you did not allow your adoptive parent's heart to reach your heart. And I just wanted to say this to some people here. God adopted you. When you came to know Jesus, when you surrendered your life to God, God surrendered his heart to your heart and he's in it for the long haul. He loves you just as you are right now, but he is wooing you and he's calling you into an intimate father and child relationship where you can be taught, where you can be gently corrected, where you can feast at the table, where you can partake in the family business as it was. An adoptive child will be given chores to do, yeah. Well, as long with the other kids, let's go rake the lawn. Everybody rakes the lawn. I don't want to rake the lawn. I don't love you. I'm just going to stay up in my room. That's the kind of the attitude that adoptive children will grow out of. But there's so many adoptive children of God 
that I have seen and I have been at different times in my life where I would much rather God be my caregiver, be my provider, give me the provision that I need, and then I can merely go on my way. But it doesn't work that way in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is all about family. Do you want to know what the father-son relationship looks like? Or you can put father-daughter relationship. Look in the Gospels. How many times Jesus, the Son of God, who was fully God and fully man, he consulted with his heavenly Father about everything. The Bible says he did nothing on his own will without consulting the Father first. And it was a heart real relationship. He received comfort, he received hope, he received his identity as he spent time with his Father God. And that is the case with us too. It's not that God wants to make every decision for us that we ever make in our lives, but he wants us to be in a heart relationship with him where we can talk those things over. So if you ever feel there's got to be more to this Christianity stuff. Yeah, I gave my heart to Jesus, and but I'm just sitting in the pew and I'm volunteering for stuff and I'm reading my Bible and giving money to the poor. But I don't know. I don't get it. What's this whole thing about? It could be that you've never come down from your bedroom and joined the family of God around his kitchen table. I just want to bless you and encourage you to step out and find what your identity really is as a child of the King of Kings. You can read more about my uh, little thing that I just shared now on my website, katherinewalden.com. I'll put the link because you can read the whole blog there. Also, I'm going to be putting a QR code at the end of this video. Woo, fancy. And you can click on it with your phone camera, and that will lead you to a link tree page that lists all of the different things that I'm up to over the internet. Comment below if you discovered that you are indeed ad adopted and how you found that heart way of being connection with Father God. I think you can encourage a lot of people who will be watching this.